like everything in life, you have to decide which problems you want. Secrets to life. <laughs> Des decide which problems you want and choose those problems and live with them. Mm. Because life without problems doesn't exist. But you get to choose which problems you want. That's the difference, right? Mm. So um, every, everybody gets to choose the problems they want to a certain extent. It's not perfect, but um, um, so you choose the problems that you want to solve and solve them. Because if you don't, somebody else will pick problems for you. Mm. You know, it's like if, <laughs> if, you, if you don't go out and source some kind of work, then somebody else will give you a job. <laughs> and you won't be very happy with that probably so um better to source your own work and keep things going that way um so do, yeah decide decide which problems you you want and um the problems that you have might not be as bad as you think that they are mm. um the famous Shakespearean quote that there is nothing, well, what is it? There, there is nothing that is good or bad, only thinking that makes it so. So what, what that means is there's, there's no good and bad in life. There's only good or bad in thoughts. Um, and so um, pick the problems. And I think, I think a lot of people make the mistake of trying to solve problems that are not their problems. Does that sound weird? Or, or, or feeling powerless to choose the problems even that they have to solve. Or panicking about the problems. Yes, some things need to be panicked about. Yes, that's why panic exists because it is useful from time to time. Um, you know, I'm gonna be late, oh my God. <laughs> I have to hurry up, not be late and keep my, promises and responsibilities and duties to others. Um, yet, yet, um, often when we try to fix things, it doesn't always work out the way we want it to work out. So, uh, so it's, I find it very interesting. One person's one person's junk is another person's treasure. Mm. See it that way as well. Uh, give you an example. My um, my father has a number of old cars, and uh, one of those cars has been parked outside my parents' house for I don't know two years, three years, four years. I I don't know how long. And uh, my mother, of course, was obviously, um, you know, <laughs> do something with your car. And uh, my dad is like, eh, whatever. <laughs> so, uh, and my dad, my dad was always like, oh, you know, it's a, it's a classic car. It's a treasure. It'll be really easy to sell. Mm. And, um, and I was, <laughs> he was like, yeah, your, your, tre like, your treasure is my junk, dad, <laughs> you know? <laughs> it's like, I don't think that that's going to sell, <laughs> right? I really don't think that's going to sell. And um, so, so my mother put an advertisement in a magazine to sell, the, to, to, to sell dad's car, <laughs> right? <laughs> The world is run by women. Mm. Uh, um, in some strange um, pseudo psychological way. And, um, and it sold within 24 hours. Really? Yeah, it sold within 24 hours. My mo I, I don't know exactly all the details. This is my mother. My mother said, somebody called and said, I want that car. And they paid a deposit straight mm -hmm. away for the car. And they drove, and they, this person lives in, I think she said they live near Manchester or somewhere, somewhere in the center of England. 
Mm. And they, they, they drove all the way from the center of England to get this car, buy mm. this car, and take it back. 